Hello and welcome to Release Date Rewind. My name is Mark J. Parker and I am a film lover, filmmaker, film celebrator. And normally this is an audio podcast wherever you get your podcasts on your favorite apps. But thanks to Portland Media Center, you are about to watch the video component of this show where I celebrate movie anniversaries with my friends. Each month, I usually talk about two different movies that I love with different friends. And we talk about the making of the movies, trivia, any fun memories associated with them. So I hope you enjoy because now it's time to rewind. I am so, so happy to have this little, I was gonna say high school reunion, but we actually all didn't go to high school together because Katie had to move to Florida. More on that in a bit. But um, a middle school reunion, at least, with a returning guest, Katie Bruno. Welcome back, Katie. Hi. Hello, hello. And a new guest, although you've heard her voice in, let's see, the Romeo and Michelle episode and in the Wedding Singer episode very recently, one of my most popular, actually, Wedding Singer. There you go. Please welcome Jackie Rene. How are you, Jackie? Hi, I'm good. Excited I'm so, here. it's so fun seeing you. We've already said this offline, but I'm going to say it now that we're recording. So fun to see you as adults. We have not, like, I mean, no, we're not face to face, but you know, we haven't actually like spoken in decades, right? Right. And it doesn't feel like any time has passed, which is what's crazy. Yeah. Like yeah. we've always been like consistently in contact on like Facebook and Instagram. Oh, absolutely. I, I love seeing no your posts. I love mm -hmm. seeing also just your fashion, right? Katie, she is very fashionable. Uh, Jackie's Thank one of my you. favorite fashionistas. Oh my gosh. Right? Yeah. She, and that makes sense Thank how, you. you know, why Jackie was a voice on Romeo and Michelle and The Wedding Singer, two very fashionable Perfect. movies brought to you by Mona May. So um, yeah, Jackie, I love seeing your stuff online. I love that you are a fellow movie TV nerd like me and Katie, maybe even more so. I mean, you know your Oh, she's shit. got some I knowledge. Know you know it. This yes. girl's gonna like choose. <laughs> yes. Anytime that, that anybody wants to win like trivia, they're like, well, you know what? What's she doing this weekend? Oh. Yeah. I love Jackie that. That used to be trivia. me. And now like my brain, I don't know. As I write 36, I'm like, oh, what's going on today? I what do I, right? I have to write everything down. I have to save everything to my phone. I'm like, I'm like that old man. I'm like uh, <laughs> passwords and, and scheduling. I'm just like, uh, hold on. I got to pull up that folder. Right. But um, no, I'm so glad you guys are here. Katie had said, we got to talk about the evil dead because it was on my list. And it's funny because the evil dead, as, as we know, the three of us were talking. Um, yes, technically it's 1981. That's when they had their big kind of premiere in Detroit. Mm -hmm. I think it was mm -hmm. right. Yeah. But technically it wasn't until April 15th, 1983, when it was was really unleashed to the American public, right? It played at the Cannes Festival. It had some different screenings. So it had a while between its premiere and its actual, like, public premiere, yeah. you know? So that's why we're saying today, you know, th this time is its 40th anniversary. I know that the real Evil Dead people might be like, uh, you know, the 40th anniversary was in 81, but we're just going to say it's, it's now. Okay. It's now. You guys agree? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like to I I'm like cool to base it off when was the movie kind of like the the widest available, widely for people available, to see, exactly. right? Yeah. Yes, you know. So there you go, a little bit of that. But um, so what's funny is Jackie lives in Florida. Katie used to live in Florida. Katie got out. Jackie uh, escaped. Got the hell out of in. there. <laughs> so Jackie, she where, tried to warn me. <laughs> she tried I did. to warn I, you. I like I said, I was that old man at the gas station. Don't yeah. go there. It's bad. And she was like, Ah, whatever, old man. Yes. And she pushed like, you out of the way. <laughs> she she sped off in her convertible. Whatever, but now you get Jackie. to say, I told you so. so I it's did. Good. <laughs> yep. Yep. So Jackie, you are. I forget. Are you in Orlando or are you in West Palm? So I am actually on the Treasure Coast. So I'm in Port St. Oh. Lucie. And Ooh. so I'm kind of in a the fun, interesting position of being about an hour from everywhere fun. But uh, I am in a nice, yeah. beautiful little oasis that, you know, it's nice, it's quiet, but I do have to travel to go anywhere cool or fun. So really no. holding up though in that area though. But there's a beach. Yeah. Okay. There's a beach. Close we by. Finally, yeah. We don't have a Whole Foods yet, but we finally got a fresh market. So yeehaw. Oh, <laughs> slow down there. Moving on oh. up there. Yeah. No. <laughs> My parents live near her in Stewart. So it is getting oh, more okay. built up, I will say. More like breweries. breweries. Like, yeah. yeah. I would Fun say stuff. that's pretty much what we do on yeah. the weekend is like go to the breweries because locally there's really not a whole lot to do. Yeah. Unless mm. you love Eric Clapton, which I don't. Oh. Um, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you can go see some live music. 
<laughs> no, Katie, do your parents love Eric Clapton? Are they going to the shows or no? Uh, I think so. I think they're Oh, okay. fans. I don't know. I don't want to speak for them. I've never discussed Eric Clapton with Yeah, them. No, I usually haven't. you don't. <laughs> All of Yeah. my conversations I've had with my parents, but I'm sure they're, I mean, they're boomers. I mean, they're, I'm sure they're fans Yeah, of his, they're probably right? like, I mean, let's go see him again, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Now, Katie, how's it going in Jersey? I know you were saying it's 85 today, which is It's kind warm. of scary for late April, but, you know, we'll take It's whatever we can get, right? How's life for you going? good, good. Hitting up wineries and breweries. Um, I'm actually seeing the new Evil Dead tomorrow for a friend's birthday. Fun. Me Okay, too. good. Oh, you too, You Jack. see it Are too? you going Yeah, together? well, my brother and Okay. I are literally 1030 at the AMC Mall. Uh, we're going to seven o'clock for my friend Matt's birthday. Um, Ellen No, wait. and Matt, who you met, Jackie. Um, Jackie, but do you mean we're 10.30 a.m. or p.m.? Oh, p.m. Oh, okay. A.M. Oh. A.M. Evil Dead viewing. I was going to say, because I saw the last movie that was in theaters, that amazing remake, reboot, sort of sequel, I know. just called Evil Dead. I saw that with a whole bunch of friends. We took up like a whole row and we did see it at 1030 and then had brunch after. It was quite Oh, and a way oh, that's to wake actually up. a good time. Brunch Oh, is actually, yeah. yeah, no, that makes total That's a sense. pretty, I mean, the yeah. tickets were cheap. And, Yeah. um, you know, I, I, you know me, I just, I can't, a movie like that, maybe I could see with a crowd, but certain horror movies, certain any movies, I'm like, you guys are too noisy. I hear the rappers. Yeah. I see the phones blinking. I'm like, I need to go People yelling crack at the screen. a dawn with the fellow oldies. And we're just going to be real quiet and just wake up with some good old blood and guts, you know? Let it wash over you and, you know, Exactly. not talk back to the screen. I, let Yeah. me tell you, it would drive you insane watching a movie with me because I'm always like, you Oh, know what? Jackie is that girl. You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I, we'll get to it if we mention oh, Evil wow. Dead 2. I had Yeah. some stuff to say. Oh, wow. I love it. You know, see, I had so with certain funny. movies, I'm okay with that. It's like when, um, like, I think what really started the change for me was seeing Paranormal Activity 3 at midnight. And it's getting Oh, really, really yeah. scary. And oh, my God, I'm, I was so into it before then. They just got too repetitive. But I was into it. And the twist is coming. And it's really creepy. And this guy just started shouting things out. And the crowd was losing it. And laughing and then yelling at each other. I was like, okay, you know what? I, I, and that was a long time ago. And that's when I was like, I think Yeah. movie theaters are maybe not so much in my future. And now, yeah, now I barely go every once in a while. Saw Scream Well, I think, 6 well, there's decorum I haven't in seen a movie that yet. theater. You don't Yeah. want to yell things at, on my own sofa. I'm like, you know Oh what? yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Living All room, bets making are off. comments It's a, the whole time. oh yeah. I am quickly becoming my mother where I ask Greg, we're watching anything. He's never seen it before. And I say, are they really doing that? What are they doing? What are they doing? And I'm like, and Greg's like, I haven't seen it before. And I'm like, oh my God, this is what my mom does to me all the time. This is what Now, my mom now, does Mark, too. who was That's that? really funny. What, what are they doing? Now, uh, Yeah. is she going to live? It's like, I, this is my first That time is seeing my favorite. it too, My mom. mother does that too. And I'll be like, mom, I don't know. I've never also, I've also never seen this movie. So I don't know if she lives. We're both I don't seeing know why it you're together. seeing this at this same Like, time. yep. Yep. Yeah. No idea. And then my But like, mom my will mom be like, this just is thinks too violent. I know. And then leave. And I'm like, well, <laughs> you're not going and then, to find out. <laughs> and then she crosses in front of the TV and you're like, okay, let me pause. Or like goes the worst goes to like wash dishes. And you're like, okay, now I can't hear it. I can't. All right. Our How moms much longer? listening are going to be like, you asshole kids. <laughs> no, Love you, my mom. mom, I, I'm already her. <laughs> And she knows that she's yeah, the you one. are. She's like, you know what? He's behind the door, you idiot. That's And you're what like, you get. yeah. <laughs> That's so awesome. And I love that Jackie's back in Jersey at this very moment. So, so She at is. least two of you are in Jersey. I'm mentally in Jersey in this moment. We're going back to the old days. And I just got a shout out. So like I said, Katie moved at the end of eighth grade, visited her. freshman year of high school but Jackie and I were in high school together and I remember Jackie do you remember I want to say it was senior year we had such a fun study Party hall 05. party 05 yes I have oh not my gosh forgotten. Absolutely. it was you me was it Katrina It was Katrina and it was Hadley Allen. And And I I was think it there Tamara was one more Tara or I think Tam it was Tamara. like Tamara Scott I believe Yes. I think she was yeah there too. I feel like there were five of us and We just were like sort of drawn to each other because we might have been the only seniors in this like midday study hall. It wasn't like end of the day when you can like leave early. It was like at 11 a.m. or something. Right. Yes. And yeah, party 05. And I just remember, I feel like I took a picture or pictures of. I have it on my Facebook, Party Do 05. you? I do. Oh, my God. I just Love remember like it. the last week of school, senior year, we were like partying it up, party 05 in study hall. And I feel like one of us brought a cake in and it was just like for us. Am I making this up? No, no, there is a cake. There is photo evidence of this. <laughs> yeah. And I like, cause my, I remember the picture. My hair was insane. I had curled Oh my God. my hair and it looked like Shirley Temple. So I put it up into like a messy bun and wrapped a scarf around it. So I look like 
a crazy person in the picture, <laughs> but I have such fond memories of that. I remember you talking about like how much you disliked David Lynch and like later oh, on. <laughs> not much has changed. I don't, I don't <laughs> hate him, but I'm again, I need Jackie will fight you. <laughs> I, like, I know. Well, but it's funny. It's funny because yeah. like, I'm like, Oh, Mark said these are crap. Cause all we would do was talk about movies and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And you always have like fun movie ideas. And then I remember like in college, I like got really, really into David Lynch. And I'm like, really? These aren't so bad. Like, oh my god, that's I, funny. Maybe I should I rewatch. Got super into Twin Peaks. Give him another chance, Mark. He yeah. is like, he's my. And I told told Jackie this when I watched Fire Walk with Me. Um, mm. Which I'm he, sorry he, that like, I suggested. That. Um. No, I liked it, but it is my maximum weird tolerance. Like okay. for his movies, like I appreciate them, but they are my maximum tolerance for the weird and bizarre because it yeah. is, you know. But I enjoy them. Like I like, I I do enjoy them, but. After that movie, I was like, "Yeah, that's my limit." I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, like I said, I had no reg- no regrets. Like no I'd regrets. Watch yeah. it. I'd watch it again. Like yeah. I, you know, I do like his stuff. And even though I absolutely love Evil Dead 2013, absolutely love it. We'll get into it in a bit. Save your thoughts. I want to hear what your thoughts on the whole franchise later on. I absolutely love that movie. It is so gnarly, so scary, so well done. But then that, of course, had they had to have a needle in the eye thing, and I'm like, "Oh, you got to be kidding me!" So. I'll get there someday with needles. Needles and I. Just... I know I didn't get to rewatch it. The I watched it a while ago. Yeah. In 2013, and I it's did a not good have time one. to rewatch. I really, I might rewatch it tonight. Oh, the tongue, Jack. See, yeah, like that was really gross, but I could handle that. But yeah. then the close up of the needle and the, yeah, we uh, eye yeah, stuff. Certain, certain I'll limits. still flinch. Now I don't yeah. care what people think of me, but yeah. like you know what, I, not as bad as it could have been. Like okay. that could have been so grosser, wow. like so much grosser. Yeah. Oh, wow. Very you true. you are badass. I love it. All right. Well, good. I'm going to try to be like Jackie and I'm going to just try to watch something without flinching. I don't know. I'm, I know it's fake. Obviously I've made horror films, not nearly as bloody as these. You would think I'd be like, oh yeah, but it's the sound effects. That's what it is. Right. Yes. It's the no, ripping. Gotcha. It's the, you know, so. And the camera angles and the lighting, it just oh, makes it look yeah. so real. And you're like, what? <laughs> oh yeah, totally. <laughs> well, now, ladies, we've we've gone a little bit back in time to college, to high school, to middle school. Now we're gonna go all the way back. Let's rewind to the eighties. We are going to April fifteenth, nineteen eighty-three. The Evil Dead goes wide in the U.S. and the audiences are just loving it. So let me set the scene for you guys. Let me tell you what was going on at that time. Feel free to chime in. This is what was popular. This is was the cool stuff, okay? Not so cool. Reagan was the president at the time. But Gandhi had just won Best Picture, the movie Gandhi. Still have never seen it. Have you me guys? Neither. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Maybe someday, I'm but... I'm sure it's delightful. Yeah, if there's know. no blood and guts. fun. I love yeah. Ben Kingsley. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. He's great. He's a That gem. one best picture. Jessica Lang won for Tootsie. Best supporting. Meryl Streep won for Sophie's Choice, which we talked about Katie last time. I still haven't mm-hmm. had a chance to see it. One of these days. That's a really feel good movie. It's a Definitely tough. watch oh, yeah. it. It's so yeah. much fun. Oh it's yeah. It's a tough watch. Like <laughs> yeah. I, I don't do any. I okay. So funny that we bring up our limits. Like I can watch the grossest thing ever. I cannot watch a Holocaust movie. Really? I have never made it through Schindler's List, or like really? Sophie's okay. Choice once. Yeah. Can't do it. Wow. I have made it through Schindler's list, but oh yeah, that's a whole different level. Yes. Okay. Well, good. At least, at least we know you two have souls. So that's good. We have limits. (laughs) You have limits. That's good. Okay. Now back to what was going on. Music. Billie Jean by Michael Jackson was the top song, top song for a long time too, a good amount of weeks. And I thought this was fun, especially for this group. David Bowie's 15th studio album, Let's Dance was just released a couple days before this. 15th album. Whoa, I didn't even realize he had that that's many That's crazy albums. to me. And that was 40 years ago, so right, they had more. Whoa, yeah, crazy. Amazing. So I thought that was fun to talk about. R.I.P. On the TV side, I know, R.I.P. Dave. Um, on the TV side, how funny, the Disney Channel had just started in the US. I didn't even know it went back that far. No. But they had just started, mm-hmm. and their first show was a show called Good Morning Mickey. So there you go. Total opposite of Evil Dead, Good Morning Mickey. 
Um, also on the TV side, MASH, the show MASH, and the show Little House on the Prairie had just ended about a month or two before this movie came out in theaters, and Laverne and Shirley was about to end. So those were very popular shows at this time, fun to kind of like, you know, put this movie on, you know, seeing commercials for this movie as oh, yeah. Laverne and Shirley. Is I was going like, to say Laverne and right? Shirley on this yeah. commercial. You're like, oh, okay. Right? <laughs> um, good. And then other popular movies that were happening, that were out at this time. Gandhi was still in the top. Tootsie, even though Tootsie came out around Christmas time, still in the top five because back then, you know, it just people didn't have streaming. It just keep running. Move, yeah. Movies would just yeah. keep running. Absolutely. But not as many came out. I feel like. And, yep, not as many. And also, even E.T. from the summer prior was still mm. like in the um. top like. 10, 15, so we had those. Flashdance had just come out with Je uh, Jennifer Beals. Um, the Outsiders, do you guys remember The Outsiders? Mm -hmm. Matt Dillon, Tom yeah. Cruise, Rob Lowe, right? That was a big deal. That was popular. But the number one movie this weekend, April 15th, 83, was a movie I've never heard on heard of called Lone Wolf McQuaid. Oh, Don't yeah. Know. It's a, it's, um, oh shit. I have heard of that movie, but you, I don't know You have? About oh my God. It. I wow. have yeah, actually but... heard of that movie. It Who was even like... in it? Let's uh, see. Lone Wolf could, McQuaid. I'm going to look it up. I, I didn't know a the, thing. And I thought, I you know what? Think. I'm not going to look it up. I feel like the title is all we need. But let me see. Lone Google Wolf it, McQuaid. Yeah. I feel like it was probably like a cop movie. Lone that, Wolf McQuaid. Yeah. <gasps> Chuck or Norris. Western? Chuck, Chuck Norris. Norris. Move aside, Chuck Norris. We are going to talk about a movie that took what horror was giving with Friday the 13th in the woods, um, Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw, friends going where they shouldn't go, right? This movie takes those kinds of scenarios and uh, just goes even crazier, right? So I'm going to throw it over to you guys. Let's, let's have, um, how about Katie? You start us off and then Jackie, you finish. In your own words, um, explain to us what is The Evil Dead? What's it about? Okay. So it's about five friends who go to this cabin that they are renting. Um, they've never seen it, which is always a great start when you've never seen the place you're staying at. Good job, guys. Um, and they go there and um, they're like, oh, OK, this is a little rundown, a little sketchy. Cool, cool. And then, you know, some mysterious things start happening. There's uh, there's entities about there's mysterious sounds and there's, you know, and then uh, hilarious hijinks ensue. <laughs> Uh, I'll throw it over to you, Jackie, because it's kind of it's like yeah, plot. that's a good that's a good time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a really really simple plot, but yeah. I mean, unbeknownst to them, in the, this cabin was actually like a, there was a professor who was doing research on you know ancient Sumerian evil text that you know they played a tape un and unwittingly raised the, these evil entities that yeah. just wreaked havoc. Yes. And, so, and they possess them and they yes. kill each other. You know, it's funny rewatching it. It's funny seeing, first of all, I, I, I remembered now that the women get to be the bad guys before yes. the guys, yep. before Scotty, which that was yeah. fun. And I was wondering, like, what is Sam Raimi saying? Is he saying, like, women are evil or something? You know, I don't know if it's that well, deep. I doubt it is. things that they, like, accuse the right. film of, you know? Oh, yes. Okay, see? So it's interesting. I never really caught that, that it's like, oh, yeah, the girls get to have fun right away. Like, you know, because I do love how his sister, Cheryl, yeah. I mean, it doesn't take long for her yeah. to at least start She's the first one to kind of start seeing scary stuff, you know. Drawing like, the, the drawing, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and it's funny, I thought, you're really like at this cabin with your friends and you're just in your room drawing? Okay. But, you know. You I got stuff unwind. to say about Cheryl. You yeah. know, I've been <laughs> Cheryl. I've yeah. been Cheryl. It's like everybody's hooking up and you're just like. You know, I've also been Cheryl. I guess I'm just going to turn on the TV. She didn't have a TV, so she nope. just made the most out of a, she, you know, yeah. an annoying situation. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you're right. You're right. And just, yeah. You know. I am actually surprised this movie didn't do what horror was doing before it showing more like making out. I mean, we do see a, a quick second of, I believe it's Shelly's bare boob mm -hmm. through the window, mm -hmm. right? But there's actually, which I commend, I'm surprised because they could have easily just, you know, had uh, some make out, some sex scenes, but we actually don't really see that, which is interesting. It was more hinted at. And yes. like, you know, there was the really cute kind of scene in the beginning where that it kind of, you know, comes back at the end where yes. they're pretending to have the, yeah. their eyes closed. 
legitimately, I thought that was cute on on this yeah. last rewatch. I'm like, oh, it that's is cute. It this is, is kind of sweet. Um, yeah. But you know, all of that between um, you know Ash and Linda, and then Shelly and Scotty, like it's all just hinted at. It's not super mm -hmm. gratuitous like yeah. we're used to. Which I Absolutely. I like that too because it could have yeah. gone down the Friday the Thirteenth route. Like all the teens are having sex. Well, first of yeah. all, they're not teens; they're college students. So. <laughs> I don't know. It was it less of a morality play. play, you know? Like, yeah. this is, it relied less on, like, the morality, like, oh, sex is bad. You're right. Yeah, you know? very true. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. the point of the story. That's an excellent point, Jackie. You're right, because there's not even, like like Katie was saying, there's not even the old man at the gas station. Which like, was in the original script. Them. Did you oh, see the original it? script? Oh, I didn't see that. It was supposed to be oh. an old man at a gas station. I'm really glad they didn't do that, because it was yeah. so cliche. Oh, yeah. you don't go down to that cab and, like, literally... And then yeah. they decided to not have that. And I really like that decision because it would have been like every other, you know, horror movie. Yep. Oh yeah. I don't know. They subverted a lot of expectations, even just how they handled the, you know, the zombie and, uh, you know, that just that whole genre was not what it was until this came along. This has a whole new set of rules, a different mythology. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, you know, it, it's a lot of, it was a lot of firsts. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah, it did a Absolutely. lot of things different. Yeah, really, mm -hmm. what are they guilty of? They're just guilty of, like Katie said, which is such a great point, I forgot. They've never seen this cabin. They haven't They haven't seen a picture. They didn't scope it out before. They did not Airbnb it. They, they did, did not go not, on the right? Airbnb website and look right? at the cabin and go, hey, guys, I don't know about this. They didn't review um, the stars. They just were like, this guy's renting it. Let's go, right? So maybe yeah. that's, ultimately, it's like, make sure you do your research, right? Yeah. I guess that's like the moral of the story. But there's, you're so right, there's nothing to do with like sex or drugs. I don't even know if they... Are drink I assume they're drinking. So like there's a dinner. they had scenes. They have one scene that um originally when they were playing the tape recorder, they were all the smoke marijuana. Mm. And they actually they're like, Oh, let's do it for real. Did yeah. you read that? And so yes. like, but they had to retake it because everyone was so out of control. And they're they like, got oh, guys, so that messed up. Okay. They got so messed up. And that would be another, me. Yeah. Oh that, my God, that'd I, be me. I just imagined I was like, that's really cute. That's, that's really so funny. Fun. Um, so there was going to be that, and then they decided to do it differently, which, again, I think was good because it could have so easily gone into the sex, drugs, and alcohol thing. Yeah. Oh, right. look at these bad people that, like, you know, I, yeah. I like that it didn't go that route, you know, yeah. like every other horror movie was doing at the time. What's this place like, anyway? Well, the guy that's renting it says it's an old place. A little run down, but it's right up in the mountains. Well, it might not be that bad. Actually, it might be kind of nice. I love how Cheryl is, they trap her in the cellar and she is so scary when she's love you know that. banging yeah, I and, and love like that whole she's just she is phenomenal. right she's phenomenal i think she and the actress playing linda i mean they are committed i and actually they... wrote that down the, yeah. I, ellen sandalweiss is amazing as yes. cheryl and i'm so yeah. glad to see her come back for ash versus the ash for, because... i was too oh, she was fun. great she she was amazing. Amazing. did oh she amazing did she come back as her character yes yeah, yeah it was phenomenal oh, yeah fun. it was a very interesting way in how they did it but um oh, nice. she's a legitimately good actress and it's yeah. just she never kind of got out of that, like, you know, super eight, uh, yeah. homegrown kind of thing. Mm -hmm. and, and she never went anywhere, but she could have. Oh, I yeah. think that she had, you know, excellent instincts, like everything yeah. that she did. I'm like, wow, this is such a nuanced performance for a horror movie. Oh, yeah. Especially yeah. for this kind of horror movie where yeah. it's so loud and garish and, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. Schlocky. Um, yeah. But I yeah. thought it was funny how, like, so the other, you know possessed friends can sort of disappear for a second like oh they're not there and then just appear but cheryl's just always stuck in the basement and i thought wow it is surprising that they didn't let her have like the power to you know they they lock her in the in bust the cellar open, but then she yeah. can just bust it open she can just appear over here she's always trapped there so i thought that was interesting because you know linda yeah. she Shelley, did eventually bust out she, she did eventually away. bust out yeah oh yeah and she's That's got so a great fun. showdown with her brother um but yeah, I just thought that was kind of funny that they didn't, that they really did want to keep her in there the whole time and not, you know, do the Freddy Krueger thing, you know, and all of a sudden he's there and that, you know, yeah. like yeah. the other so, Yeah. And it's funny, speaking I, of Freddy and New Line, so everyone says, you know, that the, the legend goes that Freddy, you know, New Line was the house that Freddy built. So New mm -hmm. Line Cinema really hit it big with Freddy Krueger a year after this, right? Nightmare on Elm Street, 84. But it's funny, Evil Dead, this was, New Line's real like first movie that they acquired. Thanks so to how Stephen fun. King. Yes, yes, thanks to Stephen King. Exactly. Absolutely. I love you, Stephen King. Thank you. Isn't that amazing? His <laughs> yeah. his rave review, right? Because yep. he saw it at the Cannes Festival. So they so they shoot it, they they finish it. It premieres in eighty one. Good buzz just in the community. And so it gets the attention of, and I wrote his name down, a producer named 
Irvin Shapiro. Irvin. Yes. Yeah. Right? You guys probably yeah. saw this. Who who yeah. had co-founded the Cannes Festival, right? Cannes Film Festival. Mm -hmm. And so he helps get that film to the festival. How nice. Very lucky. He helped change um, the name, too. Yes. Book of the Dead. And they're like, yeah, because it was supposed to be Book of the Dead. He's like, people don't want to read. They don't want to read. They don't want to read. Yeah, people are going to think they have to read. Book of the Dead for, like, is minutes. a boring title. Evil Dead is more fun. Like, I have to give it to Irvin. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, I think Evil Dead, like, yeah, Evil Dead immediately know. is like kind of gotcha. confusing and like, what is yeah. that? It immediately exactly. what sounds. Is the evil dead? What yeah. is the Evil Dead? Exactly. We're Book of the Dead. I'm like, oh, it's a book that raises the dead. I don't I, know. Like, you know, I don't think Book I of the Dead it. is bad. It's it's obvious, it's, right? Obviously, yes. it all starts with a book. So I think it's okay because here's my thought. Rewatching it now with my 2023 20, eyes, um, I did kind of feel like um, more time does need to maybe be spent explaining the book in the in yes. the in the earlier yes. uh, half do you know what i mean do you feel that way like i actually i 100 percent agree agree because yeah. you don't get any of the mythology that we have now until you get to two and mm -hmm. then three and then if you've watched ash versus the evil dead they get even further into really the mythology. Right. it's a great show mark you really got to check yeah, it out you know, really I, amazing. I started it long it. ago i know it's on stars oh, which i don't have but i started it when it premiered i was super interested and again on you netflix. guys are the bigger netflix. oh is it on netflix oh and so april 28th april 28th is oh last jesus yeah. it's probably just gonna move to somewhere else it's all right maybe I Hulu. Or, those i feel like things rarely like did disappear. you notice in the first one the necronom comes way smaller it is small. Like, it's tiny. It's a I'm little diary. To, I'm so used to like well, the, the Kandarian dagger looks different too. It does. Yeah. 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 But so, the book yes. is like this. I'm like, oh, it's a little baby book. Where's the baby yeah. necron necronomicon? Yes. Where's the, where's the body? It's this like <laughs> cute little like just stick it in your back pocket kind yeah, of thing. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. and it, get, it gets bigger in the second one, but yeah, the second one's where they really go into the. Yeah. Totally yeah. They don't really address. And, may, and the, maybe like, that's I I assume that's that was probably a a decision because they were like yeah we didn't really like go all that into it and didn't even really establish it too much. Like we see the book, we obviously yeah. know Ash is going through with these creepy drawings, these pictures. But yeah, I, I feel like, you know, maybe just if they could go back in time, just add like a minute of screen time well, showing us I more wonder, of it, right? The original, yes. Originally, the film was 117 minutes. So yeah. I wonder when they trimmed it down, if they had some yes. more background. Maybe. Um, I think there was supposed to be more with Professor Novi. Uh, there was yes. supposed to be some more voiceover, uh, okay. some more tape. And so, I mean, that's where you're getting all that information is the tape recorder with yes. Professor Novi's voice. Yes, you need to be listening yeah. to that. Yes, yeah. which I would also have loved you know, wouldn't it be so fun for as the credits are rolling? I do love that kind of old timey, almost like the shining. Like the old Victrola music. I do yeah, love that. Love it's that. so like I love that. oddly funny, spooky, all of it. Yeah. But it could have also been cool to hear more of the recording throughout the credits and like how scary to like leave the theater oh, or or yeah. you know let it play and you're hearing more of uh, the recording. That could have been fun, you know. As a Greek friend of mine once said, two tar in. <laughs> Which means party down. Yeah. As you guys already know, Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell, writer, director, producer, star producer, they grew up together and had been friends since an early age. They made movies. They were like you and me, Katie, making our Dracula movie. Which I was we still love that. back in the day. All, except right? like, you probably better movies than what we made at the time. But Maybe, this is yeah, like the yeah. perfect movie I feel like to discuss with you, Mark, because yes. I immediately think of you. And oh, yeah, thanks. But you, yeah, like Thank it's a too. homegrown effort. And this is basically totally. what you were yeah. doing. Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. Yes. I, I love I that these, right. They made an amazing a totally indie movie, although it did cost more than I thought. It ended up costing three hundred fifty thousand. Yes, yes. I, I think I read three seventy five. They had to work their asses off to get that budget, though. Yes, I mean, they really scraped for it. So they scraped, well, they and begged. Was, they had to wait a whole year to get, and then oh, Bruce yeah. Campbell mortgaged his family's home oh just home. to get this oh, wow. made. Yeah. Yeah, so to get the loan, he oh had to God. mortgage his home. And, you know, he called his recently divorced dad and was like, hey, dad, do you mind if I, uh, you know, put the house up as collateral? And he's like, yeah, whatever. I don't care. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my God! You mad? My dad would be like, no. Oh my God! No, I don't think any of our dads would have been no. like, oh yeah, it's fine, whatever. I know. Thanks so much for watching. Next week will be part two of this discussion, and in the meantime, please follow Release Date Rewind on Instagram. Bye.